Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. The channel is the No Metrics, No Simp, and All Subjects to. So I just did a short under the same title. Again, I know I said I wasn't going to do no videos, but then I thought about it. Whose pockets are being affected? I'm monetized. So it's going to affect me. It ain't going to affect the hate watchers. It ain't going to affect the people who can't handle the truth. It ain't going to help the, uh, affect the non-supportive people. It's going to affect me. And then I'm getting comments from people in different parts of the world that I ain't never even been to. So I said, you know what? I'm helping a lot of people because people know a lot of people want this truth. And the truth is, and I'm going to start a new series that I'm going to call Red Pill Legends that I'm, I'm just going to sit at home and I'm going to react to things that some of the Red Pill Legends have said that some of the people now who mostly about money when they weren't even making money like that to say what they were saying people like Tom Likas people like Patrice O'Neill I'm going to be going back to their videos and I'm going to do and it might be a couple people from today because there's some good content creators today I mean I ain't going to really name their names like that because they go out of their power not to say nothing about you. But I ain't keeping score on them. So, on this this video, if your woman does these things or things like this, she is an op. See, in every woman's mind, you're lucky to have her. But the reality of their behaviors and some of the things they do on the sneak tip, some of the things that the unforgiveness, the bitterness that's in their hearts, and all the other stuff makes them an up. Some women are so bitter at black men, they run to white men. Never mind slavery, never mind uh, like some of their own family members were denied work or ran off jobs by misbehaving uh, people of opposite races. Never mind that, they still bypass all of that and dive, divest and try to bring these people around and then get mad at their brothers, cousins if they don't want them around. I mean, you got to look at it from their standpoint. Just the other day, I saw some guys, I guess they was in the bakery truck. And so they were bringing in like bread, stuff like that, right? He was yelling at the black dude for nothing and I'm looking like man why is he talking to him that's that's why people don't be wanting to work these jobs people be saying oh oh they just don't want to work no sometimes and then we're gonna talk about that next sometimes people just put people through too much and some of y'all black people do it too you think you all lack because you've been working a job for a while now, nobody can say, I like, if you go back to my old job and you ask the new people how I was towards them, any way I could help them, I did. As long as they ain't step on my toes or do nothing offensive towards me, any way I could help them, I helped them. But most people ain't like that, man. The worst, one of the worst things in the world in a lot of these jobs, especially if you're a black man, we're going to talk about it. See, I'm the truth, man. I got to bring the truth up. It's being new and black at a job. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about that next. So. But let me see what time it is. I don't even have to. Okay, we got time for this. If your woman does these things or thinks like this, she is an op. I wouldn't even call her wrong one. And when you start having difficulty, like some guys, it'd be hard for them to say my wife or my woman because of stuff they do behind closed door. And then some of them, they'll be like, like I was told, man, you be talking about me on you. Be da -da -da -da. 
Y'all women got to learn how to shut men up. If you don't want to shut them up, if you don't want to be the, the way you supposed to be. Because remember what the Bible say. It say that your lifestyle should win him over without a word. If he's godly, if he's ungodly, you're supposed to win him over by your lifestyle, by your behavior. A lot of these women treat their pastor better than their husband. But we got a list here. If your woman does these things or thinks like this, she's an op. Y'all be scared to break up, man. This, like I told y'all, me personally, and I'm standing on this, most of the time when you see divorce and you see these families going their separate ways, if the guy is not dealing with no mental issues, if he's not fruity duty, it's something with her a lot of time. Not every time. If he's if he's not on drugs. If he didn't have too much trauma in his in his life. See, this is what I noticed and this is what I learned. When you decide who your wife going to be, you got to consider the trauma, if any. You got to look at the background. Because if she thinks that her father was a bully then she's not going to submit to you. She going, this is how my mother should have been. Not considering that sometimes them mothers be like passive aggressive and be like aggravating and agitating stuff. But it's all in how, what really happened and it's all in how they see it. And these women want to be wise, but nobody ever, they had no examples of what they were supposed to be as a wife. Again, going to what the Bible say, he's the leader, point blank. Don't matter if you make more, he's the leader. If you don't see him as a leader, you shouldn't be on his side. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's a light. Number one, if she brings up people you don't get along with or don't like like they are better than you in arguments. And then these women be instigating too. See, if you move on and you get you another woman, stuff like that, they'll literally try to get you in fights with people because they don't want you out here free. They don't care about them kids. They don't want you free. And some of them uh, uh, try to attack you when you put them papers on them. Don't even fight them back. Just, just fend it off. Get them locked up. Make somebody spend some money to get them out. Because if you fight back, then they're going to try to keep you from seeing your kids. They're going to do this, this, this. You brought kids in this world, man. It's about them. Once your relationship crumble, it ain't even about her. It's about them kids. Next thing, if she wants you to get beat up or makes references that would seem this way. I'm going to show y'all people real disrespectful. This is how people real disrespectful. When they bring up somebody you got into it with, anybody in your house, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful because the ant is instigating because what's most people response? Like if you bring up somebody, let's say I got into it with somebody at work. Of course, I'm not going to fight them. That's stupid. But if you bring it up like and, and I'm criminals did this to me, I'm telling you, when I was in corrections, they did this to me. I got into it with a co-worker. It wasn't even nothing. They blew it out of proportion trying to agitate me. And one of the guys, I end up getting under his skin more than he got under mine because I said, man, okay, this is what happened. We got into it. It wasn't no, in nobody's face, none of that. We, I even made sure we walked out together. He didn't say nothing to me. 
I was done with it. Because in my mind, I thought he was showing up for them. I said, let's see what he going to do after we leave. I was on dirt. So I was through with it. When I got in my car, I was done with it. I come back to work. Ah, oh, man, that's why you got hold on. And one kid, when he was finna go to prison, you know, sometimes they try to act out. But he ended up getting the worst of it. Because I said, you talking about words. But I brought up another kid that got in his face with his guards up like this. And they was both just standing there. I'm like, man, get out of his face. I end up having to write the other kid up. Even though he started. They up there with their guards up. And like statues. Not doing that. I said, man, go to your room. Get out of his face. They just standing there. They finally went to their room. I wrote both of them up. Neither. So I brought that up. Because dude had his post up. Just standing there like waiting for him to do something. I said... Didn't nobody post up with me? I said, but such and such, he was just, he had him up. He was just like a statue, like. I said, man, get out of his face. Then I went in between them and kind of like steered them away from each other. He wanted to bring up words. What's words? Hey, uh, hold on. What's words, man? So, if she wants you to get beat up, she bring up, dude, like, that's crazy. This been done to me. She literally brought the dude up that they brought up. And I acted out, too. I said, he ain't messing with my hands. Man. He ain't messing with me. He not. That age stuff, that don't mean nothing when you know how to fight. This ain't this ain't professional boxing. Those are professionals. With professionals, it's different than it is on the street. On the street, an old man can knock you out just as quick as a young dude can, even when you're young. That's what people don't realize. The street work different. He could hit you with something. He could shoot you. So, they was trying to bring that up. I'm like, man. Have it ever been done to you? If it's been done to you, she's making it clear. Your relationship is done. If she did anything else on this list, cheated any of that, and then did that, your relationship done. That's just how it is. Next, if she ever threatened to hit you with alimony or child support, before our official breakup. Y'all just get in a disagreement. She gets mad and talking about she gonna hit you with alimony and child support. Man, you already know what time it is. That is not somebody that's with you like that. And I guarantee you, most of the people who do this, most of the women who do this, I guarantee you that everything is about them. They not giving you the maximum effort in any way. I guarantee you. Next, if she respects any man more than you, if she's bragging about other dudes, oh, he's this, he's that. Dude, stop wasting time. Life is too short. If you my age especially, man, it's time. Hey, listen, if you older than me or even close to my age, if you, matter of fact, if you in your 30s, don't let her waste your years, man. Chuck it up. You can bounce back. You will. When you got all that friction and strife and discord, that's going to stand in the way of, of good fortune. Next, if she ever cheated on you, you a dummy, you still there. She don't listen... If she let any dude touch any part of her, whether you know or not, sometime when you don't know, the vibe is going to be off. Everything is going to start getting awkward between y'all when she done got away with one. So 
or had an emotional affair. She's an up, man. Forget her. Well, we got young kids. Okay. So she's showing you what she about. Man, I'm sorry. I feel sorry for you. It's sad, man. But that's just, these women be breaking up their houses, man. They'll say, I'm bored. Or he don't give me no affection. Neither reason is a reason to break up your house. You being selfish. You being childish. My emotional needs. Man, how old are you? I don't care if you is a woman. Your emotional needs supposed like like my sister for instance my older sister i can't say what her emotional needs are but i can say that when it come to that man she love being by herself she don't care she'll just lay there and watch tv or the last thing if she's not doing the things that made you like slash love her, if she done shut down on sex, if she not cleaning up the house, if she's not, you can't reconcile, you can't come to a consensus with her. But at one time you could. I could have put anything on this list, y'all, but I limited it to this. We're going to be back. We got to talk about this black man on these jobs, man. People be trying to turn a blind eye to it, but I'm about to put the truth out there. Stay tuned.